Hi everyone, welcome. In this tutorial I'd like to show you another project where we will see a lot of LEDs and we call this project flashing light. So there will be one LED on from the first and after the 100 millisecond it will turn on the second one while others off. And then it, after another 100 milliseconds it will turn on the third, fourth and fifth and sixth and then it will start over from the first. So let's see how, how does it look like when we start the program. Wow, that's amazing. As you see, it just runs the lights one by one, starting from left to right. And then it starts over from the left. And we would like to make it also like a bouncing ball from the between two walls. We will see this also in the tutorial. Let's go on. I click Create Circuit. And I can call the project by clicking here, Flashing Light. All right, as usual, we have to take the Arduino here and we have to get also a breadboard. You may resize this. Now we need to put uh, LEDs side by side. After we place all the LEDs, we can also place the resistors one by one. And make sure it's 220 ohm. And I can just copy paste this. Y, Control C, and Control V. And then we need to connect this uh, anode side by any number on the Arduino. I can make it closer like this, okay. And I would like to decrease the number from 13 till 3, okay, or 1, by preferring all the odd numbers. But here I will do close numbers okay so I use the 3 4 5 9 11 and 13 okay seven uh, LEDs that are connected to the pin numbers on Arduino and also we need to get the as you see we have done a bridging using the resistors which will reduce the current while the it goes through the circuit so it will not damage the LEDs and uh, of course we need to make a final connection from minus of breadboard to our uh, grounding part i will change the color of this to brown all right now the last thing uh, is to write the code and then we will just give commands to the leds one by one in order to give commands we have to uh, you know assign names for each LEDs as you see I have seven LEDs seven elements for each element I have to name it I have to assign a variable so I will use integer and LED one and where, where did the where did we plug the LED one we plug this to number 13 right all right 13 and uh, I will just actually copy paste this seven times and uh, it will go to so the numbers were 11 9 7 5 4 and 3 right so we have done the first part in the first part of the coding we always introduce the the variables okay and then we actually tell uh, in which pin number we have connected them as you see we assign the first LED from the left like LED 1 and it's connected to 13 and the second one connected to 11 and then on so now in the second section we will introduce uh, the pin modes in the pin mode we have to tell uh, LED 1 what kind of device is LED 1 so the the type of the LEDs are uh, output because LEDs are only uh, modeled manufactured to to send a message to give output to display something lighting you know the light shows any value uh, like the not like number but it also tells a message warning message or happy message 
messages whatever message it is but it always gives a message which means which makes it output so don't forget to terminate with semicolon and I'm gonna uh, copy paste this also for seven times now let's carry on in the loop part as you see we have done uh, we have done the declaration of the program and now it's time to give comment we were asking to make the light shows up like flashing turning on in the first and then after 100 milliseconds turns on the second and then third and then fourth we'll see that light is like is traveling from left to right it's just moving from left to right okay it's called flashing light now i will write digital write okay so the first we will write the led name because which one you want to turn on i want to turn on the led one i how do we turn on what is the status of light on it's high bravo so the while number one led one is on the rest of them will be off right so this is the way so we can observe uh, only one light shows up in the first row uh, in the first uh, column and then it goes the second and third and fourth we'll also see this so right now while first on the second one is off so I need to make all of them off all right so number two is off number three is off so while one is on the rest of them off all right so I'm gonna I want to see this for 10 seconds no 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 400 milliseconds which makes a uh, 0.1 second i will run it as you see it's on it's only on because you say uh this is always high you never turn it off and while others all the time off then you will just observe that for led one is always on but what if we copy paste these codes we click right copy and paste to next what if i just uh, turn off the second first one and turn on the second one so let's see what's gonna happen so you're gonna see that the it turns on the first and then turns on the second and then goes back repeats the same thing over and over you see that it's like ambulance lighting now if we need to do this for seven of them uh, then we will see the art now it says low only a third one is high all right so we will just change the uh, so now it's the second one third fourth one is high right now seventh one let's see what's gonna happen wow that's amazing as you see light starts on from the left and then going to the right now uh, i think as you see there are too much codes here I will show you uh, in a small way in a small font size and as you see we repeat the same codes over and over so it might be confusing a little bit why don't we separate them and put them in some functions and then we will call them as a shortcut now let's see this quickly so when I go down all right or I will just take these codes I will cut from here and I will call them using functions my function name is called example we start the functions with void and then uh, i can name whatever i want i will call this light zero one all right and we open and close the parentheses and open and close the curly parentheses and between those we need to place the codes i will write and paste the codes so as you see I made a light one function and wrote the codes I cut codes from the loop and paste there 
instead of these whole squares of code that I cut from here, I will just uh, use this. Okay, I click right, copy, and paste it here. And when I paste it, I will just put semicolon and let's start running this. As you see, it's still working. So now I need to do this for all of them, okay? Uh, but I will do this for each light. Now we did for light one. I want to do this void light zero two, okay? So it's for light two, and I will do this for all lights quickly, okay? All right, now, as you see, I introduced seven different functions, starting from light one till light seven, and then I cut all the codes from here and paste till down. Right now, I will just copy paste this one. One, two, three, four, five, six seven so i just change the numbers so let's see will it work again yeah it's working amazing now i want to make these flashing lights into another format uh, where we will observe uh, bouncing lights like the ball is bouncing between two walls so it's going to right, and when it hits to right, it comes back to left. When it hits to left, it goes to right. So, as you see, the numbers goes from 1 till 7, like this. And then from here, it will, when it comes to here, 7, it will go back. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And then it will start over 1. So we need to just write the same codes. I will copy the 6 and paste here and then so as it comes from 1 till 7 and then it will count down till 1 all right all right it will do 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then it will go back to 6 1 5th 4th 3rd and 2 as you see it is really great advantage of using functions if we wouldn't know these functions we could write these whole codes one by one so it could take a lot of code lines okay there's all there's a good saying simple is the best so let's go Oppa. so the light goes to those seven and six five two till two and start over from the one that's amazing astonishing view all right i hope you enjoyed this now in the next part you will see how we make the uh, same project using the same diagram in the real arduino project so all the best for you. I wish you liked this project. I will prepare you another amazing project. See you there.